Okay, class. Well, today we're just going to be looking at what the basics of logarithmic inequalities. What is it that we want to try to solve? So, the idea here is that if we have something like log of something equals log of something else. Let's call it log of square brackets. Uh, okay, so this is an equal sign, right? So, we knew when it was an equa equation we could say if the bases here are the same, so like base 10 and base 10, then we could say we can sort of ignore the logs. right? So then we could say, well, this thing equals that thing. And that's exactly the same that we want to do with inequalities. right? So with inequalities, uh, we will be... So let's turn these into inequalities. right? So if we have something like that, then we know that we can do the same thing. If the bases are the same, then we can say, well, then square bracket equals round brackets. Right. So a couple of other things we need we need to look at. Right. So if if this is let's say a three x plus one, and this one is x minus five. Right. So we're gonna we know this is gonna go in these brackets, so three x plus one and x minus five. Right, and then we can solve from here. So we can say okay, so three x plus oh three x plus one must be greater than x minus five. Uh, we can take all the x's to one side, so three x minus x will be two x, and then negative five minus one is negative six. So x must be greater than negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. Right? Okay. So, but, so that's one, one thing we know. So this has to be true. But what also has to be true is we know we cannot have log of a negative number. Right? So this part has to be greater than 0. 3x plus 1 has to be greater than 0. And this also has to be greater than zero. So x minus five must also be greater than zero. Okay, so let's solve this part. So three x greater than take the one over or three x greater than take the one over negative one and divide by three. So x greater than negative one over three. And we also know this must be true. So x greater than, and if we take the negative 5 over, we get positive 5. So x greater than 5. So here are three constraints. And now we want to see which of, or how does that work on a number line. So here we have our number line. Put arrows just for correctness. Right, so we've got our smallest value is negative 3. Then we've got negative 1 over 3. And we also have 5. Right. Okay. So x must be greater than negative 3. So we're going to add that. So greater than negative 3. And we see it's open circle because not included. There's not an equal sign there. Then x must also be greater than negative 1 over 3. And x must also be greater than 5. Right. So where... Do we have all of these things true? Right? Where are all of them true? So that would only be in this part, right? Everything to that side. So here everything is true. So the only correct final answer would be x is greater than 5. So there's our answer. Right, let's maybe okay, let's leave it there for now for now. If if we had if our number line looked something like this, so let's go here, hypothetical, hypothetical. So if this was our number line, and we had let's say negative five, uh, one, and three, and let's say we had this must be true, uh, this must be true, and that must be true. Right now, where if where is everything, the only place where everything is true, that would be between there and there. 
right so this would be the only place where everything is true and in that case x would be between 1 and 3 so what to take away from here today is whatever is in the brackets of a log that must be greater than 0 so in this case a 3x plus 1 must be greater than 0 and the x minus 5 must be greater than 0 and then also we solve our inequality normally by once the logs have the same basis getting rid of the logs in inverted commas and saying well this log of this equals log of this so we can get rid of the logs and then solve our inequality like we normally would and that is another constraint so we've got this constraint with the normal solving and we've got the constraints of whatever is in the brackets because log has to be positive or log of we have to have log of a positive number Right, so there's our three constraints. It might be more, it might be less, depending on what the question looks like. Then we draw a number line, put in the constraints, and see where everything is true. So where are all the lines? So here's only two of the things are true. Here, only one of the things is true. Here, all three are true. So that's the only final answer. X must be greater than 5. Okay, in the next lesson, we'll look at some examples.